Hello, today we're going to go over the um, add-on profile with the add-on instruction. Uh, this is continuing where we started with the extended database settings in our console software and let's set up the uh, ESR2 module. Now one of the restrictions for using the add-on profile here is the, the firmware version on your ESR2 or SR4 module has to be version 2.12 or later uh, to use the add-on profile with the add-on instruction. Prior to that, you have to use the generic profile. So the first thing we want to do here in Logix uh, is add our module. Select the ESR2, and we need to give it the name. And our slot that the module is in is in slot three. Say okay, that's all we need to do. Now we need to import the add-on instruction. So we go to our main routine and import rungs. Now the add-on instructions get installed when you install the software. Uh, so you'll find that under uh, program files uh, and then Brad communications and um, SST backlink communication modules, ladder sample, uh, add -on, AOI for add-on instructions and uh, AOP for module firmware 212. Uh, so the one we want is the CLX2000 paging AOI using AOP. We import that. Now click on tags here and you'll see that uh, it assumes that the module is in slot 3, which is what I've done here. Uh, if you can, that's, it's best to put the module in slot 3 because you don't have to make any changes. But if you have to have a different slot, uh, then what you need to do after you've added your module and imported the uh, uh, add-on instruction is come here and choose the proper uh, tags and slot number for the module. Uh, since we're okay, we'll just uh, press the okay button. It takes a moment to import it. Let me get rid of the extra rung. Uh, now we have the add-on instruction, but we have to match it to our settings uh, in the console. When we went into the database in the console, uh, and set up the offset for our input and output tables and the lengths for input and output tables. Uh, so we go up to the controller tags and we expand the CLX2000 and we go to the CLX2000 configuration and we want to change the input table offset to 1000 and the length was also 1000 and we started our output table at 2000 and length of 1000 and we started our status table at offset 3000 with link 255. Uh, so that's all you have to do to uh, to get the add-on instruction set up is just make sure you match it to the values that you set in the console. So at this point we want to save that and then download that to the module to the CPU. to run mode and now I have some values uh, in our slave device at offset 5000 which is where we're reading so if we go to the CLX database data and we look at our input data we should see that and we see our values there from the module so there you have it that's how we use the add-on instruction with the add-on profile uh, and the latest version of the firmware uh, it's very simple very easy to use um, have a nice day